The Art of Words by Mac Howells, the artist, recorded on the 9th of April 2017 in Port Winkle. Oh, hello, Chris. Uh, you caught me uh, with my notes now. Uh, I'm Michael Howells, a watercolour artist and author and entertainer, and uh, I'll just show you a couple of them there, and I'd like to read them out to you, Chris, because these are only my thoughts. I'm not saying I'm right, I'm not saying I'm wrong, but I feel, uh, as an artist, I've got to explore everything. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to recite a few of, of them now. You can be whoever you want to be, as long as you are not baby-making. I am a man, and do it when I can but not baby making. Self-pleasure, men do it, women do it, baby making. Men and women should wear women's clothes, that is equality. Women wear trousers and not labelled. Men wear dresses and are labelled. What is that all about? Who made these rules in the first place? Can anyone tell me out there who are looking at these films? Who actually said women have to wear dresses and men can't wear dresses? I am an artist. I need the full palette, not half a palette. So I like everything in the world and not just half the things in the world. To me, that's pure logic. And yet we're educated to a very high standard and people just cannot get it. To me, Chris, that is not equality. Women wear women's clothes. Men should be allowed to wear women's clothes. That is equality. Women are fighting for equality. Men should fight for equality. Men are told it is cross-dressing to make them feel guilty. So millions of men do it behind closed doors. And that is why it is called cross-dressing. Artists like me do it in the open and it is called artistic dressing. Eddie Izzard, Grayson Perry, Paul O'Grady. I could go on and on and on. Some fabulous stars here, etc. Artists who artistically dress want the full palette, not the half the palette. Now, instead of liking half the things in the world, I like everything in the world. The girls have something the men haven't got. I love girls, I dress like one, I married one. 44 years and she is gorgeous, called Diana Howells, who's now residing in a nursing home at Torcare. And the care that is being given to her is absolutely fantastic. I cannot say a truer word. Sex is overrated, but essential. It is less than 10 seconds the climax after the foreplay. The floor play, sorry, I say that again, the foreplay de determines how good a climax orgasm is. No foreplay, no build up, no real orgasm or climax. Foreplay is role playing that adds to the excitement of foreplay, climax, and orgasm. Now, you use your own imagination how you use your foreplay. It takes half an hour to restore your sexual prowess once you have climaxed or orgasm. A woman's new body does nothing for you at all once you have climaxed. There is a time in between and the experts say about half an hour. But I would say it depends on the individual. Men and women, self-pleasure. Self-pleasure does not make babies. Sex can be very dangerous with all the diseases if you don't use protection. There is no 100% protection against diseases or babies. There's no 100% protection against having babies. That is why there is 60% of unwanted babies 
That is why sex is dangerous. You must want a baby. Having a baby takes one sperm to fertilize the egg out of millions of sperm in the male. People fear what they don't understand. Anything different and they want to kill it with real bombs or mine bombs, killing without guns, dirty looks, tuts, etc. to belittle the human being, the other human being. The human race is very special. Only 10% of the human race are the leaders. The rest follow. The human race is inquisitive, or we would never have come out of the caves. If a man wears a dress, it then is thought about sexual innuendo. It couldn't be further from the truth. Unwanted babies, 10 seconds of pleasure, climax, orgasm, and a lifetime of responsibility. So you must be absolutely sure that you want a baby. To play with dollies, you need to be a man, and that is equally, that is equality. Sex is between two people or more. Self-pleasure is for your own amusement. Now, Chris, I just want to, uh, not saying I'm right and I'm not saying I'm wrong, but I feel uh, there are so many books written about uh, the subjects I'm now described in my notes, and I hope whoever sees these films, Chris, and I've got to thank Chris Summerfield for giving me the airtime to be able to do this, and I hope those who do look at these films will be a lot wiser for it. Thank you, Michael. See, I was there a minute ago, and the next minute you're coming up on your bike. Sorry. I know you, you're the director, but I had to direct you. Well, it's probably right away, and it's done by me. I know, well, I know. I was trying to put my radio on, then I got my wand stuck. It's lucky I got my wand on me. I reckon that was a magic wand. Well, it's a nice day anyway, Mike. Well, it's nice meeting you, Chris. <laughs> Okay, I'm only a little really sorry, girl. Yeah, I might look some foot, but it's because I got my heels on. Really sorry about that. Well, yeah, I'm good. Uh, well, I'll accept you. Special thanks to Mike Howells. You can find Mike on Facebook. Also, check his videos on YouTube. This has been a Christmas Field Video Production 2017. You can contact me at ccsphoto12 at hotmail.com and if you can help to sponsor my videos, you can PayPal me at ccsphoto1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video. It's a lifestyle.